All right, what's going on guys manbot321 here today bringing back another video today's another special minecraft tutorial that I've been working really hard on it's been a while since I did my last uh, Tutorial so I want to get hard working on one that I knew would be useful for you guys So today I'm bringing you the automatic tree farm that works in 1.9 1.10 and 1.11 And I'm sure it works in every version of minecraft, but with these upcoming versions I want to make one so let me show you how this works real quick today So as you look right here, we have a tiny little compartment that's gonna work great Give you a little walk around of it. This glass is optional. I'll show you how to do that later. But the first thing we're going to do, walk around here, flip that on. That's going to give us the bone meal. Place our sapling down. It's going to grow just like that. Walk around, flick it back off if you want. It's whatever you want. Um, and then go ahead. I'll even show you guys it works in game mode zero, which is survival for who you didn't know. Just grab yourself a good axe and go to town with it. It's going to work great. And the great thing about this design is it grows big trees. So it's going to give you even more big wood. So you'll get a bit, huge supply of it and it's going to work great. So yeah, let me show you guys what you guys will need and we can get right into the tutorial of it today. So you're going to need four redstone torches, a stack of blocks, seven redstone, one lever, one dispenser, six glass if you'd like. If you'd like that, I'll be able to see into it like this, then go ahead and grab that. If not, then no big deal. Um, and then you're going to want to grab some bone meal, obviously. If you want to make yours look just like I made mine, kind of nice looking, then go ahead and grab some types of these blocks and that's what I use. And then I would suggest getting yourself a good axe, so I made myself a, perf a perfect max out axe called Manbots Chopper. Got everything there, but yeah, I'll catch you guys back when you guys got everything. Alright, perfect. I'm assuming you grabbed everything that I told you to grab within the last scene. So go ahead and place your dispenser wherever you like, however you want this farm to look. So you're going to want to go ahead and place that dispenser like I said. Go ahead and run three redstone out. On the end of the third one, place two blocks just like this. Grab your four redstone torches. Go ahead and place them on the back side. I'll pause there for a quick second so you can see what I'm doing. Perfect. Go ahead and place the two other redstones on the back of there. Redstone on top. You're going to see it's creating this little clock system that's going to tick on and off. Super annoying. Run two redstone out and then a uh, lever. Flick it off to uh, quit the annoyment. And the crazy thing is you're already done. Go ahead and cover this up however you like. Um, I know that over there I made it look a little bit better and you guys can do however you like because I know you guys are great builders and you'll figure out something awesome So yeah, then you can just go ahead and place everything up above it here And you got yourself a great looking farm go ahead and cover it up for you guys show you guys what we got working and Yeah, it's really simple like I said, and I think it's super efficient. I built this within my SMP world um, my single player all that good stuff so yeah, I hope this really helped you guys out today. If it did, please leave a like. Um, the support always helps a ton. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials. Also this time, I just created a top five PVP texture packs and it would mean the world if you went and checked that out for me. So if you have the chance to do that, please do so. Also, let's take off this layer. Looks a little bit better with some more texture. Oh, make sure we get our bone meal in. And like you can see, I have nine saplings there just from that tree we grew over there. Place it down, get rid of this chest, we don't need that. Run it back here, flicker on, I can hear that clicking. We got ourselves a tree. Chop this stuff up and you're gonna have yourselves a great working tree. Anyways, let's go flick that off, I can't stand that noise one bit. But I hope that this really helped. Um, I know that I've really been working hard on this one. It took me a little bit of time to figure out something efficient without going over the top, if you guys know what I'm saying. Um, I think sometimes tutorials are becoming, are becoming a little bit too much today. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, uh, make sure to check out that top five PVP texture packs that I did. I'm really trying to get to 30 likes on it so um, I can make another one for you guys. So if you haven't checked that out, go please do, please do. In the top right corner, there will be a little card. Click on that. It'll take you right there. But anyways, uh, comment what you what tutorial you want to see next for your world, things like that. I'm happy to do it. Other than that, that's going to wrap it up for a video today, guys. This is Manbot, and I'm out.